Hey, what's up guys, Eric here. Over the last couple years, I've been notorious for buying cheap flashes. This is the newer TT560 Speedlight. It goes for like 30, 35 bucks on Amazon, and it performs fine, except for the fact that the batteries on it don't tend to last that long. It takes four AA batteries, and I end up changing the batteries out many times throughout any event I go to. However, recently I purchased these Ultra AP FLS UNV1 flashes. They also take four AA batteries, but they tend to last a bit longer, which I very much appreciate. But moving on, I have a couple of these newer flashes laying around, and as I've been getting more and more into portrait photography, where I have multiple flashes, some flashes on light stands, I decide I wanted to convert these flashes to run off of AC power. And that's what I'm gonna show you to do today. So this project is gonna be broken up into two parts. The first part is the first iteration that I have, which is a little bit less obtrusive. So what I ended up doing was I made fake AA batteries. I ended up 3D printing them. However, you can even make this out of a wooden dowel if you wanted to. After checking my test fit, making sure these fake batteries worked, I then went into my bin of power supplies and I found this power supply. This outputs at five volts, 2.5 amps, and you have to realize these flashes take four AA batteries and each AA battery produces 1.5 volts. So we're looking at these flashes require six volts of power. Five volts isn't completely there, but it seemed to actually work out okay. Once you pick your power supply though, you're gonna want to cut the leads off of it, obviously check for the negative and the positive lead, strip some of that wire, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the wire around a screw. Once you do that, and you wanna make sure the screw is conductive, a lot of screws have coating around them so they don't conduct electricity, make sure your screw does conduct electricity. But once you test that, then you're gonna to wanna to just shove the screw through the fake AA battery. This way we can just put the AA battery into the flash and voila, you plug in the AC power and your flash should turn on. The only thing you might have to do is cut a hole in the side of the flash so the wire can stick out. But this doesn't really damage the flash at all as long as you're careful where you drill the hole. And if you decide you wanna use AA batteries at some point instead of this fake AA battery power adapter nonsense, you'll be able to do that. Moving on though, the second iteration definitely is a bit more obtrusive. So I ended up taking the flash entirely apart. And keep in mind, both of these flashes, I am modifying the newer TT560 Speedlight. So taking this apart, I was trying to find the leads that go from the battery compartment to the main board, which then charge up the capacitor, so on and so forth. And I found out that the one of the leads was entirely blocked off by plastic. There was really no getting to it, so I had to yank the cable out, and although this is fine, I will no longer be able to supply a battery to this. I'm gonna always have to use AC power, but I'm fine with that. So once I found the two wires that go from the battery compartment into the board, I just unsoldered them, removed them, and connected my power adapter to it. This power adapter is slightly different. It is five volts, 1.5 amps, so a little bit less amperage than my other unit, but I've actually had better luck with this, and that's solely because the wires are directly connected to the board, and I'm not going through a screw that isn't really designed to conduct electricity properly. Anyway though, once I soldered the wires to the old battery terminal wires, I was weaving the wire through the rest of the chassis of the flash, put the flash back together, used a little bit of super glue to get everything nice and snug, and voila, I have a non-removable cable and I have a way to constantly power my flash. So out of these two concepts, which one should you use? Obviously the fake AA battery is potentially a bit more convenient because it's not as obtrusive. However, I've found that the connecting the leads directly definitely is a bit more reliable. Not that I've had huge reliability issues with the dummy AA battery, but I find that even though this power supply is technically a little bit more powerful, it takes a little bit more time to charge up my flash just because the electricity is going through a screw and not directly connected to the board. So I would recommend going the more obtrusive route. Of course, another idea is actually connecting instead of a power supply directly to it, just have a DC power input jack so you can unplug and plug a power supply in whenever you want. 
course, you're gonna have to figure out how to connect that without damaging the battery compartment like I did. But hey, I didn't need batteries on it, so I decided to make that cut and that was completely fine. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you do anything different? Be looking forward to reading your comments. Anyway, I'm Eric and I'll catch you in the next one.